Hey guys, welcome back. I'm finally back from studying at BNL for a whole week. A whole week without videos. But we're finally back. Uh, my time is still slightly limited for the next few days, but... Oh, I forgot about that sound. Oh. My time is still limited for the next few days, but uh, within a few days, uh, we'll be back up to normal speed with what we were doing. Uh, let's see, where do we have to go? We have to go somewhere over here. But anyway, guys, I'm just happy to be back. I haven't even played any of the games since uh, my time was limited, so I've been deprived of Star Wars and such. Alright, so we can quick travel at these terminals. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. And I believe that's the quick travel, so... Let's select that. And let's just try. Let's let's just go right there. Let's quick travel. Oh, a shuttle has been dispatched. I didn't know we were that needed. Oh. All right. Whoa. What is that guy doing? All right, so we need to go over here, and there's my computer. It hasn't even been doing anything for a whole week. Doesn't even know how to play anything anymore. I was watching some old footage, and uh, the computer was lagging while it was watching the footage. It's like, oh, God, stop it. I can't do it. No. All right, so I oh, was it the same guy. All right, so I guess we can train more. What's this? Social points. Ah, yes, we need to be social and such. Ah. We're an anti-social Jedi. That was an impressive go earlier. But we've upped the programming on these droids. Care to give it another shot? Get out there and show them what you're made of. Alright, so we gotta get out there and show them what we're made of. Over here somewhere. Jeez. I'm not used to the controls. I got so used to the controls, and now I don't remember them. Alright. Training simulation activated. Let's go. Ah. Uh, three. Ah. I was right. Stop. Don't lag. Is that- this- is this the only one? It is. Alright, so let's go back to this guy. Yeah, so in the past week, basically what I've been doing is, uh, if you didn't already know, um, well, let's just talk to this guy first. Work out there. We're going to have to get you a real challenge next time. What are these? Ah, oh, just minor medpack. Basically what I was doing was I was taking a physics course at, um, the Brookhaven National Lab. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. But, um, I live, like, maybe, like, 25 minutes away from there, so... It was a perfect opportunity, since I'm interested in particle physics, and... Want to pursue that field in college, and later on from that. And, uh, so... My time was... Very drawn into, because it was, like, an eight-hour thing every day. And that's a lot of time. What's over here? So, you know, uh, I, w I just, I was extremely tired afterwards, you know, because it's summer, I don't use my brain at all. And also, I'm forced to learn particle physics and classical mechanics and quantum mechanics and calculus and all these sorts of things. And I haven't even started regular school yet. I seem to be cursed. Well, why do I always get the pupils who think they're the exceptions to the rule? Master Silvarte, it's true that our Padawans are acting a bit strangely. But I don't think there's cause for concern. Wait, I have an idea. You, Padawan, I know you. How do you know me? You need me, Master? Who, me? How do you know me? Sorry, I don't believe we've met, Master. Well, thank you, I stand corrected, youngster. I only know of you. Master Silvarte is concerned about a couple of our Padawans. He suspects that they are, well, 
If I'm correct, they are following their passions down a dark path. Oh, those horny bastards. Sounds like trouble. Tell me your need. So romance is bad. Of course romance is bad. Sounds like trouble. We understand your concern. In all other aspects, these two are model pupils, but I agree we would be remiss if we didn't do what we can to settle the issue. They may be more open and revealing with a student like you. We need you to confront them and discover if they are indeed cultivating a romance. I'll take this seriously right away, spying under the Padawans. Um, uh, right away, you know, let's just make it quick. Yes, Master. Their names are Morrison and Spanios. As we speak, they are in the ruins of Lower Caleth. So go, talk with them, and report back what you discover about the relationship. Try not to alert or alarm them. If they are in love, they are sure to be volatile. All right, so we have all these missions. That one's right there, and that one's right there. There's another mission over here. Ooh, she got a lightsaber. But yeah, so my time was restricted. It's still slightly restricted now, but starting like mm, maybe maybe Monday. I have a feeling Monday will be good. Oh, got some frame rate and like. All right, are we good? Are we good? All right, I think it stopped. Um. All right. Padawan Fia. Master Orgus's new apprentice. Wow. Everyone says you're great with a fibro blade. I'm Fia. Padawan Fia. Still have to get used to having a title. I've just started learning about the Force. I've got a long way to go before I'm as good as you. You're a beginner. Just focus on learning. How true. Now that just sounds cocky. Just focus on learning is more like I'm being a teacher. I'll be her friend. You're a beginner? You seem a little old to begin the training. Until a few days ago, I didn't even know I could use the Force. I still can't believe I'm here. Just last week, I was crowing a garbage scow on Rax's Prime. Then this scary-looking Jedi shows up out of nowhere and says that he can sense the Force in me. What are the odds? Scary-looking? Jedi aren't normally known for their intimidating appearance. He's Keldor. As aliens go, they're pretty fierce-looking. I thought he was gonna eat me at first. Say, do you know Master Tillin? He's the one who discovered me. I'm trying to get a message to him. Master Tillin is studying a big mystery in Kaleth's ruins. Something about ancient droids attacking people? If you're headed to the ruins, would you give him this holo recording from me? I'd be so grateful. Considered it handled. Allow me to do this. Terrific. I can see why everybody here is so impressed with you. Here's the holo recording. Master Tillin has a small camp outside the ruins of Kaleth. Thanks for doing this. Everyone's impressed with me because I just do all of their work for them. Everyone's too lazy to go from point A to point B. Oops, what's this? Someone just fell over on my desk. There we go. Um, now let's check the map. So it looks like we're going in the right way. Undiscovered location over there. But yeah, so I think Monday I should be back on my feet, like, you know, getting regular uploads up. So that's good for everyone. And uh, yeah, so basically what I've been doing What's a Horanth? A wandering Horanth. He noticed me. Go down. Alright, we got him. Yeah. So, uh, for the past week, every day, uh, since I basically started, actually a little bit, a, a few days before. Um, I started, uh, my class at BNL. I was, uh, I restarted the entire, um, Assassin's Creed series. I don't know if you guys are a fan of that series or not. I've been with it from the very beginning. And, uh, since Assassin's Creed, uh, 4 Black Flag is coming out in a few months, I thought, hey, why don't I just play all the games over again? Um, because, you know, I love them, so they're always fun to play. And, uh, I was weak. At a moment of weakness. I, I skipped Assassin's Creed 1, because, as most people know, that one isn't very good. It still has a pretty good story, but overall, it's definitely not my favorite game. You are cleared for the following travel routes. 
So I start with Assassin's Creed 2. I beat that within like two or three days. And then I started playing Brotherhood. And I was like maybe a third into it. And all of a sudden, um, I was weak. And I just skipped it entirely and Assassin's Creed Revelations. And I just started playing Assassin's Creed 3 because that's like my favorite one as of yet. Which I, I think is weird. Because you, most people that I've seen don't like that game that much. What the? Oh. Okay. Most people don't like that game that much because, uh... I think it's mostly because they're sad that it's was gone, so it makes them angry about the game, but... Um, based on everything they did with that game, I just think it, it was beautifully done. And, uh, so I was weak and I just, I started that game. And I almost beat it the other day, like, I'm in sequence 9, and I was like, alright, this is going way too quick, I, there's no way I did it this quick, uh, earlier, and then I realized I didn't do a single side mission, so for, for the past day, I've literally just been doing all side missions in that game, and, yeah, so that's, like, pretty much been, like, 20 hours of gameplay, uh, and... It's all just been side missions, and I still haven't caught up to where I should be. I still have so many naval missions to do, so many homestead missions to do, so many liberation missions to do, and just, you know, random things. I haven't even done a story mission in so long. I was like, I thought this game was a lot longer than this. <laughs> this isn't right. I shouldn't be here by now. And also, the only complaint I have about that game is that... You play as Haytham Kenway, and uh, Connor's father, the main character's father. Uh, you play him for three sequences of the game, and that's a pretty long time if you're not familiar with uh, the Assassin's Creed series. And that always frustrates me. It's just like, I'd be fine if it was like one sequence that you play as uh, Haytham, but three sequences is too much for me. It's just like, alright, I want to get to the Native American love child. Alright, well let's talk to this guy. Uh, know someone named Fia? How do one Fia sends her regards and this hollow recording? At least you weren't hurt. You seem to have survived the encounter. Nana, na tu pachunki. Oi, grani tampio du me donki. Cha kulka du magi, tahus hagua upa. Crispa do e kanki, kunke gupa. Do bataji moa atima. Twenty thousand years old, and they had droids. Freaking, how advanced are, the, are these people? We don't even really have droids yet. Where's the droid's body? That's amazing. Old junk, who cares? That's amazing. I'm extremely impressed. You don't sound it. <laughs> he sounds hilarious. Uh... Not to destroy them. Anyone been hurt? Whatever you say. Anyone been hurt? What kind of damage can these droids do to people? Ne umpi bedwana ni bobo chopa uma. Dwara wanki, wabda ya tuga loka. Kili wata bunki donko patoga loda. He's saying the same lot, like the same bunch of lines over and over again. <laughs> How is he coming out with all these different sentences? Explain that to me, Bioware. Explain it. Let me take care of that. I'll get those samplings for you in no time, Master Talin. Yeliska chanaga bumpa komchinka. Oh my god. Anyway, 
Ei, mă, ce? Alright. Except. Uh, thinger majiggers, mission items, quick bars, thinger majigger, that thing, okay. Very good. Um, ooh, Jedi Tillin's level 50. I can take him down. Um, alright, so let's continue on this way. Yeah, so as I was saying, just, you know, I had my moment of weakness. I wanted to play all the games in order, just so, you know, for the story-wise effect. And, uh, I, I couldn't do it. I had to play Assassin's Creed 3. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal just that I've played all of the games uh, story-wise. Like, each of them at least ten times. And... I'd guess my favorite out of all of them would be Assassin's Creed 3, and like, I think my second favorite is Brotherhood right after that, and then Assassin's Creed 2, Revelations, and then Assassin's Creed 1. Oh my god. Oh god, I was hitting, I was hitting the, whatever that thing is next to the one, to the left of the one number. Oh god. Alright. Yeah. Most people's favorites are, uh, Assassin's Creed 2 because of, um, its amazing story, which, uh, no fault to that, it, it does have an amazing story. But, I feel that Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Ooh, new boots. Horrible boots. Uh, more armor, but less endurance and willpower. Uh, I think I'll keep the other one because it has more. This one has m less uh, advantages than weaknesses. Excuse me. Alright, so I think those are the lovers over there. And these are the droids. Um, oh, I need to scan them. I forgot to scan them. Alright. Uh, where's my scanning thing, Bob? Uh, mission items. Droid scanner. Let's just put you in the hot bar. Alright, there we go. Nine. Oh god, they're back. Maybe they won't notice me. I don't think they notice me. I'm too good for them. Oh god, they notice me. That was too good to be true. Alright, there we go. No, I didn't want to do that. There we go, nine. Uh, that one. Yeah, but I feel that Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood have a good enough story to be loved and cared for. Um, and most people don't see them, especially Assassin's Creed 3, lots of people don't like that game at all. Which I still, I, again, I don't understand that. I love it. It's because I changed everything. The new animations. Uh, every game before Assassin's Creed 3, same exact animations for everything you did. Which is quite frustrating because it's just like, it makes sense. Like, it actually makes sense for it to be the same animations for Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations because it's all the same character. But it shouldn't have been the same from Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2 because it's a whole different character. But now that the only thing that doesn't make any sense um, is because they changed the animations. Desmond's animation, if you're not familiar with the game, Desmond is a... Uh, like, the, I guess the main, main character, because you're not actually in the certain time period. You're in this machine called the Animus that lets you relive uh, your ancestors' memories by, um, by, uh, because their memories are locked away in your DNA somehow, and the Animus let, allows you to see that in, like, a simulation sort of thing. Oh, do I need to go closer? 
I'm hitting nine. Did I already scan you? I guess. But, yeah. And, uh... But it didn't make sense because Desmond had the same animations as, uh... Altair, which is from the first game, and Ezio, which is from uh, AC2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. So, you know, it didn't make sense that in Assassin's Creed 3, all of a sudden he had Connor's um, animations instead of Ezio's slash Altair's. I don't know, it just <laughs> didn't make any sense to me. Because that's not how he moved. But everything was different, combat was different, you know, and I thought they were good changes. I thought that they made sense. Alright, here we go. And at first, I wasn't that excited for Assassin's Creed 4. Like, it's not like I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get it. Uh, it just didn't have the same effect on me that Assassin's Creed 3 had when it came to uh, waiting for it. Like, I just could not wait for Assassin's Creed 3. But I think... Alright, why can't I scan these guys? Did I already get all the scans I need? Um, jeez, I did. Wow, that's stupid. Alright, I just need to destroy one more droid, and then I'll get another optional thing. It's a Watcher. I'll get the Seeker, I think the Watchers are deadlier. Come on. Alright, it's a watcher over here anyway, so I just encountered more than I should have. Stop shocking me. Alright, there we go. Uh, so we can go back, we can get a new mission over here, but let's finally talk to the lovers over here. I just didn't because I was rambling on. There we go, renew that. Renew that. You found it! Well done, Morrison. Oh, Spanios. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, goodness. You're amazing. I don't care what the masters say, we're proving everyone wrong. Come here and give me a kiss. <laughs> I'm next. I'm next, what the hell? Don't mind me. Uh, this confirms everything. Should I just be upfront about it? Like, oh, this confirms everything. Or should I be suspicious? Don't mind me. Or should I... <laughs> Do I'm next. What the hell? I'll just say this confirms everything, because it kind of does. Well, it seems your master's concerns were valid. Who are you? This isn't what you think it is. You're in love, relax, it's going to be fine. Don't lie to me, it's obvious. Relax, it's going to be fine. You have nothing to worry about. I'm a friend. Oh, really? You say you're a friend. Does that mean you're not here to blow the whistle on our romance? Spanios, you just confirmed the truth to this person. I'm sorry, my love, but I'm sick of hiding. The order is wrong. Fear, not emotion, is the adversary of the Jedi way. Ironically, the Masters fear emotion, and therefore, they deny us its bounty. The power of our love is why we work so well together. Our teamwork allowed us to find this rare lightsaber crystal. So our passion actually strengthens the Order. You won't, you won't find so many who agree? I don't think so. I do not presume to know. Let's ask your masters about that. I think they'll be hard to convince. Spanius, please help me convince this upstart not to expose us. I love you, Morrison. And so if you believe we must remain hidden, I honor that. But it may take a sacrifice. You mean the crystal. I agree, my love. Friend, if you tell the masters we're not romantically involved, we'll give you this powerful crystal for your future lightsaber. Would that buy your silence? Oh god. Should I follow the Jedi path or should I get something that helps me? Oh no. I've been so good ever since I started. Should I stop now? Oh, you should be ashamed. Can I believe you? We'll see. Mm. Oh god. Uh, 
Oh no. Just like Assassin's Creed. I was weak. We'll see. I'll decide what to do when I return to the Masters. We will hold out hope. If you tell the Masters you found nothing suspicious here, come back to us, and we'll give you the crystal. Don't you dare try to fool us. We will know if you do. Oh, God. I still have a chance to right this wrong. I'm gonna go back. I have to. Oh, God, I shouldn't. I shouldn't expose them. Do the Jedi thing. Oh, God. This is a really hard decision. A better lightsaber would be awesome, but... Is it worth... Technically going on the dark side for lying. Mm. Oh god, I don't know what I should do, guys. I don't know what I should do. Oh god. This is gonna haunt me. Oh god, let's just kill these things in frustration. Alright guys, you know what? You help me decide. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. Should I lie to the Jedi Masters and get a better lightsaber crystal once I finally get a lightsaber? Or should I tell the truth and stick to the Jedi ways? But anyway guys, make sure to like and favorite if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to become a Deathman today. And I will see you guys next time.